welcome to our YouTube channel Safety Guidelines with loads of videos on different topics. I'm partner of Fahim Azim. The topic for this video is very interesting and informative. It is very special as it is related to basketball safety. As you know, basketball is a fun sport. Follow these tips for an injury-free basketball game. Let's move on. Please do watch it thoroughly until the end to get benefits of this video. Basketball Basketball is a team sport in which two teams, most commonly of five players each, opposing one another on a rectangular court, compete with the primary objective of shooting a basketball through the defender's hoop while preventing the opposing team from shooting through their own hoop which is an elevated horizontal hoop and net called a basket. Preventing and treating basketball injuries. Basketball is fun for everyone, from young kids to grown-ups. As with any sport, there is a risk of injury when you play basketball. Here are some tips to help you prevent injuries. If you do get hurt, this video also explains how to treat some of the more common injuries. Injury prevention tips. Number one, wear gym shoes that fit snugly, are not skid and have high tops. Number two, use a mouth guard, ankle braces and safety glasses. Number three, warm up and stretch before each session. Number four, use proper techniques and follow the rules. Number five, do not wear jewelry. Number six, play on a clean, dry and safe surface. Number seven, if you are injured, take the time needed to heal before you return to sports. Ankle sprains. Ankle sprains occur most often when you land on another player's foot. In most cases, the ankle turns inward. Pain around the bony bump on the outside of your ankle is normal. You may have swelling and or bruising. Your ankle may feel unstable. Treat ankle sprains with the RICE method. The RICE method. It has four steps. Number one, rest the injured area. Number two, ice the injured area for 20 minutes every two hours. Number three, apply a compression wrap like an ACE bandage to reduce swelling. Number four, elevate the injured area to a level above the heart. Knee sprains. Knee sprains can be caused by a sudden stop or change in direction. They can happen with or without contact from another player. Your knee may feel like it popped or gave out and may feel unstable after injury. The pain may be in one small spot or throughout the whole knee. Swelling may occur within the joint, feeling like pressure behind the kneecap or in the joint itself. Swelling may or may not be visible. Treat knee sprains with the RICE method, as explained earlier. If your knee is very unstable, you have a lot of pain or your knee is swollen, popping or clicking, see a doctor to make sure you don't have serious ligament damage. Head and face wounds. Head and face wounds often occur due to a direct blow from another player. The eyes, mouth, chin and nose are easy to injure. Head and face wounds bleed a lot. Apply direct pressure to the site of the injury to control the bleeding. Wounds that are jagged, gaping open, very deep or wide or won't stop bleeding may require stitches. In these cases, go to the emergency room right away. Concussions. It can happen with or without a loss of consciousness or being knocked out. If your child or teen may have a concussion, they need to stop playing right away. 
they cannot return to practice or play in a game until they are evaluated and given a written note by a doctor or other licensed healthcare provider trained in the evaluation and treatment of concussions. Some signs and symptoms of concussion are confusion, problems with vision, memory, speech or balance, change in behavior or personality, headache, upset stomach or throwing up, sensitivity to light or sound and feeling more tired than usual. Muscle injury. Muscle injuries can happen from overuse or lack of flexibility. Some muscle injuries may come with swelling, bruising and a visible indent in the muscle. Treat muscle injuries using the RICE method as explained earlier. For a minor overuse muscle injury, also try light stretching. Bruises. Bruises are caused by a direct blow or collision with another athlete. Treat bruises using the RICE method as explained in earlier in the video. Light stretching and use of the joints above and below the injury can help prevent stiffness and pain. Jammed fingers. It is common to jam a finger while playing basketball. Soak the hand in cool water for 20 minutes. You can protect the jam finger by using medical tape to tape it to the next finger. This is called buddy taping. First aid facility. Besides, there should also be a medical first aid facility at the location of the game and well converse in coaches with basic first aid knowledge. Moreover, the backboards should be strong enough to endure the pressure of the basketball and fast shots of the players. Thanks for watching this video. Our team is grateful towards the people who have already subscribed our channel. And those who haven't, please do remember to subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon to receive notifications regarding latest safety topics. Like, comment and share our videos to encourage our team. Have a good time. See you in the next clip. Till then, goodbye.